What's going on guys? Melissa Miller, aka Melissa Backwoods, and we are at Blade Show 2024. Now, it is Sunday, the show thinks it's settled down, so we're gonna head over to the Boker booth, who have made my travel here possible, and check out some of the new products they have coming out in the next couple of months, because they have a lot. So, let's head over and see what they have. They're gonna let me go behind their uh, counter and get my hands on some of the new stuff. Okay, here are some of the new models. <laughs> this is the W1 VG10 steel handle material, black G10. This will be available in August, and the retail price is gonna come in at around $98. Super aggressive, thick dagger point blade. And yeah, make sure to check with your local laws that these are not legal everywhere, but man, is this thing badass. This would almost be like a sweet type boot knife if you can, <laughs> if you can fit it in there. Next up, we have this little guy. This is the Muck, and this is going to retail for $40. This features 12C27 steel. We have a micarta handle, but check out the shape of this handle. This is super, super comfortable. We have jimping here at the lower part of the spine. We also have it up, so if you want to get your grip up, good little carving blade, or if you want to use that for your index finger placement. The Muck, or M-U-K, is going to be coming out in July. We also have a nice little lanyard hole, just super comfortable. And also exciting from Boker is the release of a Bali Song trainer. Okay, this is the Bali Song Relax Trainer, aluminum handle, blade material at 420. There's your closing latch, keep it closed in your pocket. I really actually love the colorway of this black with this kind of crimson. Next up, we have the Super Light Tanto. This is a Midgard's Messer crossover design. D2 all throughout the entire uh, handle and blade, and it comes with a nice adjustable Kydex sheath. Retail price for this one is going to come in at around $49. I like it's got a good aggressive uh, Western Tanto blade shape to it, and it's got some uh, swedged out at the front for more piercing potential. But this one will be available next month in July. Okay, next up we have a $50 budget blade, a Lucas Firmly design. This is the Kion DC All Black. D2 steel, nylon, and glass fiber handle material. We have a fun, fidgety crossbar lock, two a true ambidextrous blade, and we also have an ambidextrous option for the pocket clip. Okay, next up we have the slip lock. This thing has such a cool blade shape. Check out how it widens a bit at the top. We have a nice kind of clip point shape. We have this long cutout. And that is gonna make this really, really fun to reverse flick open. This is gonna retail for $138. This will be released in August. And man, is that a good looking pocket knife. Okay, we have teleported to Wisconsin. So after filming uh, all these models at Blade Show at the Boker booth, I was notified by the Boker rep that I couldn't show about seven or eight of them because they're not getting released until later in the year. However, there were some models that I did not cover at the show that I can show you. So I had Boker send those in and I decided that I'm gonna finish this video even if it's not at Blade Show. <laughs> Plus I have my little overview cam which I can set up to give you better product shots. The lighting's better. This is a good thing. And we're going to start off strong with the Hyano Blue which is gonna retail for only $40 and be available in July. 44 OB Steel. G10 liners really like this kind of gray blue. We have a nice generous drop point, three inch blade or 7.6 centimeters. No one's allowed to point out my band-aids. It's been a, there's been a lot of carnage this week and I've cut myself like three times yesterday. <laughs> I do like this thumb disc design we're seeing on the Boker models. It's ambidextrous, it's grippy and it's easy to access. But yeah, really attractive silhouette for an EDC blade. Show you the deep carry profile. This is the Empery. Front flipper design, is it Stormtrooper design? I don't know, it is called the Empery, but it is only $40, and it's gonna be available in July. G10 handle, and it is machined, it is grippy, and it also, um, if you don't wanna do the front flipper, it does feature the flipper tab. Here's the deep carry pocket clip, which is ambidextrous. Thank you, Boker. I wouldn't call this necessarily a harpoon shape, but it is a ramp, so it does feel very comfortable. Coming in July, this one's called the Braddock Black 440 B Steel G10 handle. We have a carbon fiber inlay. God, look at that little fun, pretty little inlay. Isn't that cute? I gotta stop using the word cute. Whoo, action feels good. Oh, that's a retail tag I'm trying to get off there. Um, very classic silhouette smooth deep carry clip showing that nice deep carry in the pocket clip there it is man the braddock black 46 bucks guys come on 
Okay, another budget one, $46, crossbar lock. The Rock Stub Black, 2.64 inch blade or 6.7 centimeters. And yeah, it's a crossbar lock. Draw point with a nice little swedge, piercy, piercy. 440B steel, aluminum handle, very smooth on that texturing. Lanyard hole that you can actually fit paracord through, which is nice, and an ambidextrous pocket clip. Ergonomics are being thought of in this handle. This machining right here provides for a comfortable grip. A little bit of jimping, that real jimping that's actually grippy. Love that for this guy. And yeah, cool little blade for 46 bucks coming in July. The Rock Stub Black. Next up we have the Sanjo. Oh, I'm such a nerd. I wanted to hold it like a katana because it kind of looks like a katana. So look how badass that shape is. Very guillotine uh, type of shut on that. Boop, gotta be careful. But it is a front flipper that's actually fun to front flip. I got nubby fingers and it's hard to open them, but this one feels very comfortable. This one will be available in August for $141. Really cool burlap micarta. Love the that stone wash on this blade. VG10 steel, not sure if I already mentioned that. Oh man, that is just so fun to open. I, you know, that, that feels great. There is just, it feels good. Yep, I like it. It's actually grippy and you can get your hand there. And cut down boxes, you can go, Whoa! you can slice boxes like a ninja. Okay, we're moving on up in the price just a little bit. This one comes in at $96 and it is a design of the award-winning uh, Juck, Chuck, Juck, Chuck, Jordatus. Talking is hard today. Dagger point, thumb disc, super wicked dagger no this side is I, I just stabbed myself very slightly see now i'm gonna need another band-aid 4.13 inch blade oh man that's fun vg10 steel my card handle grippy cool we're good we're not bleeding we're not bleeding we're good yay that is an intense pocket knife next knife is the chaos and here's me realizing that i broke the pocket clip quite embarrassing but oh well Okay, hook for the wave deployment. That's going to go in there, and yeah, that's uh, it's going to just snag on your plant seam and deploy, be ready. No pocket clip, because I ripped it off, and it's out. It's out, it's ready, it's fun, it's whippy. Got a scary looking bloodline. Fuller, as we could also call it. But on a dagger, you call it a bloodline, because that sounds scary. Why did I do this? Eh, oh well, it is a prototype. Um, I was bending all the other ones and they did not break. Such a fun little machining in the middle of the blade. VG10 steel, G10 handle. Gonna be $99 coming at you in July. And as luck would have it, my audio cut out once again, but this is just me introducing Max, a new higher end model from Boker. Coming in August, this will re retail for $281. S35 VN steel, TC4 handle, that is a um, alloy, that is a titanium alloy that's popular in the aerospace industry. Beautiful blade, 3.3 inch blade, 8.4 centimeters. The thumb studs are very stylish on this. Good looking blade, frame lock folder, so it sounds really nice when you open it. And look at the milling, like the milling there on the lock bar and on the, on the show side of the blade. Just gonna whip this open all day long. Feels good. Whew, okay, thank you for sticking with me through the chaos. What was your favorite design or which one do you think you will have your eye on in the next month? Comment below. I always read comments and interact with them. I hope you guys enjoyed that video even though it was a little bit chaotic, um, but I appreciate y'all very much. Boker has tons of new things coming out in the next couple of months and yeah, keep an eye out for them. So I'll link Boker's website below and yeah, until next time, guys, have a good one. Hope your summer thus far is treating you well. Bye-bye.